Now we're going to build a shelter using man-made materials. We're going to use a military-grade poncho and some paracord. By itself, this isn't that great a shelter. However, with a few modifications, it gets a lot better. I'm gonna see if I can get some stakes to stick in the ground here. Maybe frozen, so I don't know, we'll try it. Okay, as you can see, I've kind of had to lay a log across it on the back to keep the end down. The idea is to keep as much heat in as we can when we get a fire going. You don't want this to be super high here because you want to try and keep as much uh, heat in close to you as you can. So a couple more modifications and then we'll start laying in the floor and uh, get fire going. As you can see, I've been out uh, tipping. So what that means is I've gone out and snapped the ends off a few uh, fir trees. You go from tree to tree, so you don't take too much from any one tree. It doesn't hurt the tree. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and lay them out. If I were going to do this for an overnight, for real, I would want at least this many thick. You see how it compresses down. I'm just gonna take these and kind of lay them out in the shelter right now so that you can get an idea of what it would look like and just imagine it as a foot or two deep. Okay, so basically what you would do, wherever it is you're gonna be sleeping, you would just take and lay these out. And you can actually take and layer them like this. You don't have to just like chunk them down any other which way. So that you're kinda of weaving them in to the next layer. You want them to be down like this so that they Stay nice and tight. All right. Now this way with enough of these, you've actually got a bed that you can lay down on, like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and get a fire going up front here and just sit here. The, I've put a little piece of uh, string here so that it's giving me a little headroom in here so I can actually sit up, but it's not super high. Heat will reflect back into the tent or into the to the shelter. I'm well on my way to making this a much better shelter than just this alone, which but this will only keep the rain off. Whereas this way, I've got heat coming in, I've got insulation from the uh, the cold ground, and uh, I'm much better able to stay warm. So let's get a fire going. Okay, now that the fire's going, there's still other things you can do to make sure that your uh, shelter is a little better. 
Uh, I, for one, would start gathering a whole lot more wood now that this is going and uh, feeding the fire real good. And I might try to put a heat reflector back behind the fire so the more heat reflects in as opposed to radiating out. But this gives you a good idea of uh, how it would look like. So uh, I could survive a night like this. Probably be cold and maybe a little bit miserable, but it would be a survival. So, and surviving is better than being dead. Time for a little moose jerky. <laughs> 